Hey everyone, it's Miss M. I wanted to review quartiles and interquartile range a little bit today. So first I'm going to find the quartiles and the interquartile range and then I'm going to show you how to better interpret them. So remember the first thing we need to do when we are finding the quartiles is to uh, list our data from least to greatest. So it goes from five. all the way up to 20. To squeeze the last ones in the bottom here. Okay, so there's my 16 numbers. So this table shows the result of 16 students on a 20 point quiz. So after I list my data from least to greatest, I'm going to find the median. So that's the middle number. Two middle numbers, find the average of them. So my median or Q2 is 13. Then I'm going to split my data in half. So since there's two middle numbers, one goes to the lower, one goes to the upper. And I'm going to find Q1 next. Again, two middle numbers. So I find the average of them, so Q1 is 8.5, and then we need Q3, two middle numbers, find the average, Q3 is, um, was it 17.5. And then the interquartile range is going to be Q3, minus Q1. So you're going to have Q3 is 17.5, Q1 is 8.5, so the interquartile range is 9. Okay. So I think it's easy if I make a chart for you so to interpret the data. Let me just write these numbers down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use the next page to draw the chart. So if you remember in the notes, we had um, this box that was divided into four equal groups. Sorry, right, pretend these are all equal. Each is 25%. And it's broken up um, by the quartiles. So here Q1 was 8.5, Q2 was 13, and Q3 was 17.5. I'll just write over here the interquartile range was 9. Let's interpret um, Q1 first. So I'll interpret Q1, Q3, and uh, the interquartile range. So something we could say about Q1 is that 75% um, of quiz scores were above an 8.5. So if I look here, Q1 is 8.5, 75% is greater than that. So 75% of those scores were above an 8.5. And something I could say about Q3 would be 25% of quiz scores were greater than 17.5. So here's Q3, 25% is greater. Those aren't the only things I could say. Q3, I could have said 75% were um, lower than 17.5. All right, I could also interpret Q2. So why don't we just do that? Q2, I could say 50 
percent of quiz scores were below 13 points. Okay, I could have also said 50% of quiz scores were above 13 points. And now let's interpret the interquartile range. Um, so let's see, can I do this easily? All right, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so the interquartile range, remember, is Q3 minus Q1. So we're talking about in here, all right? So I could, and that we subtracted. So the difference between The middle 50% is no more than 9. So what this means is any number in this middle 50%, so in between Q1 and Q3 when we had all those numbers lined up, no matter what numbers we choose to subtract, the difference will not be more than 9. Right, I want you to take this information and try to do a couple examples um, in the Google form.